these games are not enjoyable. Shut the fuck up! Know your fucking place, trash! There are a lot of things to rightfully criticize Elden Ring for, where it be the terrible online mode we had to restart the damn game in order to use such online mode, or the terrible settings with only on PC. Although those are just minor issues at best, even though I'm playing that game on the PS4. That kind of defeats the purpose now, does it? Okay, now this is getting awkward. awkward. But we're not here to talk about that. Let's talk about a certain content creator on this platform known as Red Bandana Gaming. Now, if you're wondering, Blue X, why the fuck are you even make this response at all? Well, the curiosity got the best of me when he made a review of Elder Ring. And let's just say, that review is pure dog shit. And you wanna know the title? The title is called, Elder Ring Sucks, short and to the point. Luckily, the video that we're responding to was extremely short, so that gives me plenty of material to work with. Now, with that being said, let's have some fun. That's disturbing. So, I'm a t -t today, Junior! The video was already started, and I can barely hear what the hell he was saying. I mean, is it really that hard to adjust your audio settings? At least with my videos, I try to put a little bit more effort in my audio quality. Especially when I'm adding music in the background. So that way people won't get bored, and that way the audio wasn't disoriented. But, okay, I'm already being rude, so let's hear what he has to say a bit further. Yeah, I I'm returning this utter crap because this game is terrible. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, I was going to do a video on it. This is it. This is the video. It's going to be a quick upload. You heard him. The video is going to be extremely short, which is extremely convenient for me. Oh, when you're about to hear his reasoning why he thinks Elder Ring sucks may shock you. I caught all the way through that that beginning of the game it was very bland so i get to that guy with the mask i accidentally attack him he kills me okay i respawn right in front of him he kills me respawn he kills me respawn finally get away see this big thing horse minotaur looking thing kills me one hit all right i respawn right in front of the guy who kills me i'm like how is this fun many of the people who enjoy the soul series apparently and about the beginning area of the game, it's mostly a tutorial boss. They're not exactly well known to be exciting. And in order to basically get the hell out of the grave, you have to go out outside is when the open world starts. And about you dying over and over, I'm guessing that you didn't auto-lock the enemy. Which I can tell by the screen that you're showing us right now. So, yeah, learn how to auto-lock next time. How is this fun? And there's supposed to be a lock-on system, but my guy decides to just start swinging wildly. I point the camera back at him, it gives me a light lock-on, and he starts swinging wildly. I'm like, the guy moves, and I'm still swinging wildly. I'm like, how is... I mean, no fucking shit you're swinging wildly, because you do not aim your target, because you do not auto-lock the enemy, like... Auto-lock feature is not limited to Souls title games. That goes for every single action RPG, it's not just Souls titles. And maybe the reason why you're swinging wildly is mainly because you didn't auto-lock the enemy, no, 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 no. Before you press R3, make sure your ca character is facing the enemy before you're pressing R3 to auto-lock the enemy. I mean, that is a very useful tip. Just uh, a little advice for a little old 
blue X here. Also, how incompetent do you have to be to not realize that feature? The game does not suck. You just suck at it. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, you gotta do this. Oh, the, these games are not enjoyable. Imagine being this salty at someone who's just giving him advice about how to do with the game. Yes, I get there are people out there that like it. Uh, but hey, I'm not the only one. You can take a look at a lot of channels. There's a lot of people that don't like this. And this game is not a 10 out of 10. Nowhere near, even if it ends wildest dreams. I mean, no game was truly perfect. But when it comes to Elden Ring, it was pretty damn close. The only two things that Elden was holding Elden Ring back is mainly one, the online accessibility option is absolute garbage. And especially the PC, that's the second thing. But for the most part, I have no other issues with the game. I think the game is phenomenal and I think software did an amazing job perfecting this um the Souls masterpiece, even though it's not a masterpiece, but it's still a pretty good game overall. Also, people that you mentioned that dislike the game are pretty small minority, mainly for the game people who wants an easy mode on Souls games, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of Souls games in general. Adding a difficulty settings would probably ruin Souls games in general. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. But go off, Queen. This is one of the most wretched things in terms of accessibility and gameplay and just... This is one of the most wretched things in terms of accessibility that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That was the most moronic take I ever heard. Of course Elden Ring has an accessibility option. You're just too lazy to look for it. And tell you what, I'll just show you the guide of how to auto-lock. You know, just a bit tad. So it'll take a second. Three hours later. Hello, this is I, Blue X, and this is going to be a tutorial of how to do how to auto lock enemies in Elden Ring. Now, before you press R three for the auto locking, make sure your character is facing the enemy. All right. Now press R three. There you go. That's how you auto lock, baby. That's how you do it. Now, if you're wondering, Blue X. How the fuck am I supposed to beat this bastard? Well, if you want to know how to crawl, just uh, or more likely crouch, just press L3 to basically crouch. But you better make sure to how to sneak attack your enemy. Oh no. Okay, make sure you dodge that, and apparently I messed up here. Oh shit. Oh shit. But don't don't feel discouraged. All you have to do is time your attacks. Yeah. Make sure you dodge that. And booyah! That's how you deal with the enemy. A little scratch here and there, but hey. That's how you auto-lock the enemy. And that's how you time your attacks. End of story. Goodbye. If you want to know how the fuck is the auto lock button located, you could go to the game settings and you search up for the controller settings. Like you see right now that I showed the screenshot. Now there. Was that really so hard? Yeah, I'm going to get hate. I get it. I get there are Souls fanboys out there. I get it. You know, put all your garbage in the in, in the comments. I know you will. It's what you'll do. You don't have to be a fan, Brad, in order to see the bad take of a video game. And no, they're not going to send any hate. 
maybe a few minority of people that are just fan brats, not just Elden Ring fans. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that if they want to do it, not saying if they will, but if they did it, it's kind of hard to do that when your video was taken down. Sorry about that, Chief. This is not a good game. It is not a 10 out of 10. No way is it anywhere near game of the year. <laughs> not even if it wanted to. I can't wait for Gran Turismo. This will actually throwing this out. <laughs> okay, that was the most hilarious thing you actually just said. Gran Turismo 7 would be better than Elden Ring. You cannot make this up. A game that is filled with shitty microtransactions against a game that is completely good overall. You cannot make this up, my god. Actually, thank you GameStop for having that 48 hour like it or whatnot, love it, bring it back, I get full return credit. Okay. And I will because this game, this game can go in the trash. That's how I'm going to say it. I'm going to be kind even though, th no, no thank you. Wow, that was shit. And just like that, the video ends. Compared to Quattrum TV, Red Bandana Gaming's review of Elden Ring was rather tame in terms of the negative review of Elden Ring. Although it really didn't say much. And I'll say this one last time. Do not harass or bully anyone I mentioned in this video. I do not condone this behavior. This is not right. This is not how you deal with this type of situation. But with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. I make gameplay content more often, that much is obvious, and sometimes I do commentaries and memes here and there, but overall I do let's plays for the most part on this channel. Now, without further ado, goodbye. Oh, bro. This guy stinks!